A little bit less drunk for this match reaction, but United there against Everton at Old Trafford. Who saw that coming? Everybody. It was an extremely predictable performance, even though we come into the game off the back of those wins against Spurs and City, and then building on that with Alkmaar. It doesn't matter. United at home or away against a team that sits in a more disciplined shape. United can't do much to break that team down. And the same problems that we've seen from United all season long in so many games, we saw again today against Everton. They went 1-0 up and it, look, it was a foul on De Gea. The goal should not have stood, but it flatters United and De Gea right there to point that out as the biggest problem. De Gea should never have been in that issue. Should have just punched the ball away. Weak, Lindelof unlucky. United 1-0 down and at that point Everton deserved it. They had a 10-minute period, but United came out strong. We didn't have the quality and I keep going back to this. The reason that this hasn't changed all season, that this exact same tactic has worked against United time and time and time again, is because the same players are there. I, I, I question Solskjaer's coaching and improvement of the players and the idea that why hasn't it changed? Why is it still going on? I think it's down personally to the quality of the players more so than the coaching itself. But both are de definitely contributing to, to the most simplest of tactics that keeps tripping United up. And every time we look to be building momentum and momentum and those sorts of wins against Spurs and City, just wow. But the polar opposite performance there. And bar that moment from Mason Greenwood, which was an absolute moment of quality, left footy finish, through the legs, into the bottom corner. The kid's great. At 18, he shouldn't be scoring the, the level of goals I think that he's scoring. He just looks so assured and so good. But moment, apart from that, where was the quality? Where was the tempo of United's football? We started off very well, but as soon as Everton settled, they had complete control of it. Calvert-Lewin definitely probably was man of the match. Every time they knocked it long, they won the header. United not physical enough, and that gave Everton the edge, and that's going to be Everton's edge under Duncan Ferguson, and you, you all saw it coming today, but you kind of hoped it wouldn't. You kind of hoped that the wins against Spurs and the wins against City and Altmar Going into this game, morale is high. Even though we're playing a team that we know will sit deep, morale is high. Let's, let's ride that wave. And instead, we've just kicked it into reverse again. And the same questions will be asked again. And January couldn't really come quick enough because this will continue and continue all season long and until new signings come in. Until Popper comes back from injury, maybe, and adds the quality in midfield. But again, it's just the exact same things. McTominay and Fred, no real number 10 of any quality that they can pass to. So they pass it out to James on the wing or Rashford. If they can't do anything, it goes back to the midfield. That gets recycled to the defence. It gets knocked long. Everton won the ball. Predictable patterns, no real penetration from United anywhere today. And it, look, you can, a lot of what I'm saying in this match reaction, you could have applied to United in five, six, seven games this season. It's nothing new, but it's a massive concern that it keeps repeating itself. As I said, I think it's down to the quality of the individuals because if we do have those players who can't... Look, in the first half, Lindelof with that arrow of a pass that went through to Rashford and McTominay did one soon after, I think, for James. United don't do that often enough, so teams are happy to sit deep in shape because there's no real threat from United. And aside from that Greenwood goal, it says we had 24 shots today. Eight on target, but it felt like a whole lot less on target. There were half chances, cut chances, not really threatening chances. And up against a happy puncher like Pickford, we should have peppered the goal more. Maybe that's what we were trying to do. I don't know. It's frustrating, but it's predictable. And I suppose that's maybe the worst part of it. We all saw it coming and it happened. And it happened again. And United, at least we came from behind and didn't lose. But Solskjaer's record at United is bad when United go 1-0 down. But it's going to happen across December. Newcastle will probably do it to us. We've got Colchester in the League Cup. They'll probably do it to us. The tactic is extremely simple to get points against United. And Everton used it today. And to their credit, they did it well. But United shouldn't be that easy to play against. It's United at Old Trafford. We should be 
going for the jugular in the first 15 minutes, getting the early goal, getting the crowd on our side, and that makes teams crumble. But United don't do that, still don't do that, and it's a frustrating similar performance from United where more points are dropped against a team where on paper we should be winning. Let me know who your man of the match was or if there was a man of the match. Let me know in the comments. But to go from the, the level of performance we had against Spurs and City in particular to that, two massive extremes. And Solskjaer and the players need to show much better mentality than that if a top four chase is going to happen this season. If not, it won't.